But, Ryan, I wanted to end uh, talking to you on a very different issue, the issue of the primaries in Pennsylvania right. yesterday. Four Pennsylvania House candidates, backed by Democratic Socialists of America, won their Democratic primaries in, um, in Pennsylvania. Summer Lee is a lawyer and labor organizer. Elizabeth Fiedler, a former public radio reporter. Uh, Sarah Inamorado is the founder of Women's Advocacy Group, and Kristen Seal works in an energy conservation nonprofit. All four female candidates unseated male state representatives in Tuesday's primaries. The significance of this. This is a, a huge wake-up call for the, for the Democratic establishment. And, and one of the defeated Democrats e even tried to hustle and run a write-in campaign to win the Republican nomination at the, at the last minute in uh, southwestern Pennsylvania, because uh, there, were, there, there were no Republicans running. It was an un, unopposed site. And so he thought that, well, if I can get 10 votes or whatever, then, then I can get this nomination. And that's how desperate the establishment was here to cling to power, that they would do something uh, so disgraceful to them as these longtime Democratic partisans as try to get the Republican ballot. Uh, that failed. And out in uh, Omaha, Nebraska, uh, Kara Eastman, uh, with the support of a, a, a wide array of uh, progressive groups, but not the support of the more establishmentarian uh, uh, ac activist groups. She, she didn't have the pro-choice groups. She didn't have a lot of the environmental group support that, that relies on kind of Washington for, so, for some of its political capital. She won anyway. Uh, she beat a former Republican uh, who had become a Democratic congressman in a, in a, in a primary in Omaha. And so, that race and, and the others in Pennsylvania will put to the test in November something that the left has always said, that the way to win some of these swing seats is not with a former Republican like Brad Ashford, who sort of still is one and lost in 2016, and, and you're just going to run him again because you can't think of what else to do, saying, no, actually, put somebody up who's for a, a $15 minimum wage, for free college, for Medicare for all, proudly pro-choice, who, 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 who believes in what she says, and then let voters make a choice uh, between uh, what they have on the ballot. Now we, now we get to see that play out in November. Ryan Grimm, we want to thank you for being with us. Washington, D.C. Bureau Chief for The Intercept, latest piece. We'll link to it, democracynow.org, ahead of vote on Gina Haspel's Senate polls access to damning classified memo. This is Democracy Now!, democracynow.org, The War and Peace Report.